Want to enjoy the famous hot and sizzling keema roll without thinking about fats and cholesterol? Well then this recipe is all you need. Hey guys, it's me the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curry. Well, today I'm going to show you Mumbai's famous keema roll using plant-based keema from Blue Tribe. Well, I've tried this plant-based keema by Blue Tribe already and it contains textured soy protein and you must try this too. But before beginning the recipe, what is important to note here is you need to bring it out of the freezer and keep it in the refrigerator for at least 45 minutes to an hour so that this thaws completely. It is juicy, it's succulent and it absorbs all the flavors and spices beautifully well. It's also high in protein with zero fat. Isn't it amazing? Now let's dive in straight to the recipe. Let's begin with heating a wok on medium flame and adding in some vegetable oil. Well, since I'm making a filling for the roll, the oil needs to be moderate or less. You do not want the roll to get slodged with oil. While the oil is heating up, let's quickly chop an onion. You can slice it, dice it, finely chop it. Choice is completely yours. If you like that bite in a roll, you can just roughly chop the onions. The onions are chopped and ready. Let's add this straight into the hot oil. Let's saute this on medium flame for at least two to three minutes so that the onions become translucent. What I'm also doing is I'm not actually adding in any whole spices or garam masala at this stage because I do not want surprises in the mouth while eating, of course, the roll. Now, how do you make do with something like this? All you can do is increase the powdered garam masala, which of course I'm going to show you how and when. While the onions are getting cooked, let me also quickly chop a tomato. The onions are now translucent. Let's add in crushed ginger garlic and green chilies. Let's cook this till the raw flavor of the ginger garlic goes away. Time to now add in some powder spices, beginning with red chili powder. Now, since I've already added green chilies for spice, this chili is purely to bring in that beautiful color on the keema. With this, garam masala powder. Like I said, a little more because we've not used whole spices here. And finally, last but not the least, turmeric powder. Let's mix this well. And after sauteing for like a minute or so, I'm gonna add in the tomatoes. Let's stir fry the tomatoes on high flame for at least a minute or so. While doing this, I'm also going to add in salt as required. The salt will ensure that the tomatoes also kind of mush up and bring in that beautiful texture for the keema. Our masala has beautifully fried and ready. At this stage, let me add in the hero of this recipe and that is the plant-based mutton keema by Blue Tribe. Let's increase the flame and pan fry this for at least a minute or so. Once this is pan fried, let's add in the boiled green peas. Let's mix all of this well. And then I'm going to divide this schema into two parts. The first one of course remains as it is, red in color. And the second one, will have some spinach and become a green in color. Let's keep this aside. And like I said earlier, let's add in some blanched spinach here. The whole idea here is to make two different colored keemas here. The spinach is already blanched and pureed, so it need not need more cooking time. Just ensure that this is sauteed on high flame for like a minute or so. And with this, your second keema is also done and ready. Let's transfer this in a bowl. Our plant-based mutton keema is done and ready. Now, let's start assembling this. For this, of course, you need a hot dog roll, which I'm going to cut like that. 
Well, I personally prefer scooping the top out rather than just giving it a gash. Well, this way, like I said, there's more room for filling and this top can be used, of course, for croutons or breadcrumbs. Let's move on to adding some mayonnaise in every hot dog. Let's move on to placing some cos or romaine lettuce. I'm just going to snip off the spine of the lettuce. Let's move on to generously adding in the spinach kima here first. Let's add in the other prepared kima as well. And finally, let's top this up with some more mayonnaise. The famous Mumbai Kima roll is ready and it's absolutely easy and now you can make it with Blue Tribe's plant-based mutton Kima. This way you can have a healthier option for our planet too as plant-based meat has lower carbon footprint than regular meat. You should all try this at home and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.